Hey, thanks for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. Recently, I've had a lot of my clients come up and want to know about well, spending money with social media, meaning whether it's sponsoring posts on Instagram or more importantly on Facebook, and, and we've talked about that. And, and I want to talk about that too because I've had to do more and more of it all the time because of the way, especially Facebook and, and Instagram because they're tied in together, have really made it tough to be organic. We've talked about organic reach and the difficulty of being organic with your social media growth these days. And while it's still possible, it's much slower. And it's all because of how Facebook and their algorithm determines what people are going to see. The more people you interact with, the more you see from them. So it's like if you've got a core of about 10 or 20 people that interact with you, you're going to see the majority of their stuff and they're going to see the majority of your stuff. And that's just the way it works. The people that, well, you may be friends or fans to be followers of or whatever, if there's no interaction there, they sometimes get lost in the shuffle. So a lot of times, and especially Facebook in their business model, is trying to get you to sponsor posts or pay for posts or, or pay for placement or play, pay for visibility, whatever it is you're looking for. And while I don't say no, I say first of all, you have to have a reason to do it. The one thing I've seen, and I've watched this happen over the course of the last few years, the ability to grow a fan base, a followership, if you will, on any of the social media has gotten tougher because more people are more sophisticated. They're not just liking and following everything that they've always liked and followed. They're very selective now because they know their, their timelines or their Twitter feeds get, get cluttered with all that stuff. So they become more selective. So you have to give them a reason to want to follow you, to want to become your fan, your friend, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's the tough part. Now, sure, you can go out and you can you know, put up a little sponsored post and say, hey, you know, come check out this for, hey, let's say if you're a rock band, you know, and you can say, hey, you, you like such and such rock band and we, we're kind of similar to them. Well, come follow us. Well, guess what? I've seen the numbers. I've seen it work not only with, with musicians. I've seen it work with media personalities. And, and I've seen it too work for businesses or charities even. And the one thing I see is, is if you're not selling a specific good service or product, it's tougher to get sponsored activity. Because at the same time, if people are just saying, oh, they're just you know, paying to try to get people to like them, you may get them to like you, but they're not going to necessarily stay around so long. And it's a slow grow. It's not as fast as it used to be with paid visibility. And more importantly, I just don't know if it's really worth it. I don't know if those people are really interested. Now, again, if you're selling something, if you're a small business, if you've got some kind of crafty thing that you do. I've got a buddy who, who, who had some arts and crafts projects he used to work on in his spare time. I said, dude. Man, you could create an eBay store, an Etsy store, whatever it is, and you could sell those online. And obviously, he took my idea and a lot of other people's ideas to heart and now has a, a, a hobby that's turned into a big business that I, I sometimes think he's probably making more off that business now than he is off his real business with this arts and crafts. And again, and I'll see some sponsored Facebook posts from him every now and again, especially around the holidays, a great gift for Father's Day, a great gift for the grad, a great gift you know, for whatever. And, and it works for him because I think people are looking to buy if they're looking to buy a service, if they're looking to buy an item, well, if it's in their timeline, they may just do that. I've seen a lot of things that have come up in my timeline that I didn't necessarily want to buy or look at it at that point, but it puts them in the back of my mind, so it's a good ad. But if you're, you're not selling a specific item, if you're not selling specific goods, it's tougher to get people to click on those things. Now, even if you're, in this case, well, I've got a lot of recording artists. If you're a recording artist and you put out a new album and you're trying to get people to, to buy the album, whether it's go buy it on iTunes or Amazon or Google Play or even just listen to it on Spotify. I don't necessarily know if that translates to ads unless you're a big, huge superstar. And then it's just a small little amount of money just as a reminder that it's out there, that your new music is out there. But if you're a struggling musician, if you're a musician who's just you know, throwing your music up on iTunes or on Spotify or whatever it is and trying to get people to pay attention, I don't necessarily know if you're going to make enough money from what it costs you. You know, every song you sell on iTunes costs well, cost $0.99 to $1.29, but usually if you're an independent artist, it's $0.99, cents, and you get to keep $0.70 cents of that. Well, sadly, sometimes the pays just for the clicks. You're paying for clicks on the ad, whether they buy or not. It doesn't balance out to being well, an even trade of you get one sale for that click that costs you maybe $0.70, $0.80. Cents. So you really need to think about that. You really need to think about, well, is advertising the right way to go on social media for you? And while I'm not saying it's a no, I'm saying you really need to have a plan. You really need to research it, experiment, and that's the key. Experimenting, figuring out what works for you. Because I've seen it work, well, sometimes very well, but a lot of times, just throwing money in the pockets of Facebook and Instagram and even Twitter for that sponsored content. So while sponsored content is important, it's the way to go, it's one thing if you're trying to sell Coca-Cola. 
you know what, Coca-Cola can spend a little bit of money on advertising and just with name recognition alone, they're going to sell some Coca-Cola and it's worth it in their strategy. But if you're banking on making money off of whatever you are, whether it's a recording artist, whether it's a media personality, whatever it is, again, you got to make sure it's, it's coming out of the cost of doing business. You got to make sure there's going to be an upside to it. If you're selling something that costs 20 bucks and it only costs you five cents to get those people, then it's well worth advertising. But if it's going to end up costing you more than getting a 70 cent download and costing you 80 cents to get that click, you're losing money in the process. Think about it. You want to talk more about advertising and especially buying ads on, online? Well, my phone number, my email coming up. Back next week, another No BS Social Media Chat. NoBSSocial.com. Find us on YouTube. Find us on Facebook. Find us wherever you find us. Again, where you're seeing us this week, we're back next week. You want to talk? Phone number, email address coming up. Thanks.